Finishing up my coffee. It is just an espresso shot with a very, very little bit of creamer. Trying to limit how much coffee or caffeine I drink during the day. Y'all pray for me, okay? <laughs> uh, and I am today really excited because I had a great morning. Uh, I traveled yesterday to Pittsburgh for work. And today I slept in a little bit. I worked out. I put up clothes, laundry. I did all like the adulting life stuff that I don't typically privilege enough as far as making time for. And so for me, I consider that to be labor just like anything else. And so I made time for that this morning. And I also worked out using the Future app. You can get a free month on Future. Check out my code down below. But right now, girl, let me put on these here bifocals because I can feel a headache looming. I really just got on here without my glasses on so y'all can see my eye makeup. You know how you call your friends and you be like, hi girl, what you, huh? What you doing? Cause you just got your nails done. You know something? Anyway. Maybe I'm the only one that does that. So I was really just trying to make sure y'all got into the makeup. But the way these 41-year-old eyes are set up, we need those there. Those there bifocals. Uh, and I am excited because part of today's Vlogmas is in partnership with my friends over at MCM. MCM, if you don't know, y'all, is an amazing luxury brand that is based in Germany. And they have everything from ready-to-wear to shoes, accessories, and most importantly, handbags. Now, if you're anything like me, you grew up seeing MCM everywhere. Definitely an iconic part of our culture. And I am happy that I get to show you today three handbags, three new styles that are on sale. And for me, what I love is that all three of these are so different, one of which I would not have even known was from MCM. I'm gonna style these up for you, so just give me, just don't go nowhere, hold on, because for the holiday season, you need to see these bags. your seatbelts friend we have things to discuss <clears throat> number one now this bag is a hobo style as you can see it comes in black and it comes in this really pretty deep kind of tobacco color uh, it is Napa leather, which means it is very, very soft, and it will fit so much. I feel like this time of year, fall, winter, hobo bags really have my heart. While I love smaller bags, I think I just need a larger bag in my collection because of what it does when you're wearing it with a coat. And the great part about this one, good people, let me show you this. So this is, as you can see, a little clasp there. And on the inside, Give me a thick strap any day. And the strap is also adjustable. It has three holes. And once you do this, you can actually make this, y'all. Look how easy it goes on. You can actually make this a cross body bag. I think there are luxury houses that we just don't know enough about. And for me, MCM is one of those. And so when I saw this on the website, on sale nonetheless, I just had to have it. And show you all also how I would style it. For me, I love this color when it is worn with color. And so the sweater that I'm wearing today is a new cardigan. It is by Gage. Gauge 181, I think, or Gauge 81. I got it from net porte It has these great shoulder pads, but also I like it with the denim that I am wearing. And then I probably would pair it with a pair of gold boots. Change my earrings out for gold accessories because this does have gold hardware. Throw on my camel coat. 
and it just looks stylish it looks easy it's functional it is for me a great neutral addition in my wardrobe while I do have another bag that is like a light camel I don't have one that is this tobacco color and again what I love is that it also comes in black let's keep the party going because the next one look at this it comes off the little MCM bunny, but I think it is just so whimsical and cute. I would definitely take this and put it on other black handbags just to add a fun little pop. It is part of the bandana collection. They have not just this style on sale, but other ones that have this bandana. So if you love that, look at all of the different selections. I will link my face down below. It is kind of in this classic style. It is the perfect medium size. And for me, as someone who wears so many neutrals, being able to have something that's not solid black that has a pattern, I think is really, really cool. It's fun. So for me, I would do this kind of like a round the way girl aesthetic, right? So I would do an oversized Adidas jacket. I have a pair of faux leather leggings. These are from Spanx. I have some high socks from Adidas. Throw on my all black Sambas with the gum soles. YSL retro glasses. And it's a vibe. I just love the idea of this being the casual, everyday bag. It doesn't have to be too fussy. You don't have to dress it up. It literally is grab and go. And of course, just like the other one, it also has, girl, a lot of stuff in here. I got a lipstick in here, a Target card. <laughs> Some gum. The stuff I've been looking for. Girl, oh my God, it's a key to a lock I needed. Okay. I've been loving my bag, as you can see. And the strap is not as thick as the previous one, but here's the part that I love. If you're somebody who has some shoulder sensitivity or just if you love the look and the aesthetic, it has that shoulder extra wide strap there. I likely would wear this more as a top handle bag um, because I just like the way that it looks. I think that it also promotes or prompts the eye towards the great little uh, rabbit as well. But uh, you can wear it crossbody, which again is great if this is your everyday bag and you want to be able to wear it running errands. And the next one that we absolutely love because I have nothing, nothing like this whatsoever is this denim bucket bag and it has the white MCM logo with gold hardware. Y'all know denim has been trending for some time. And for me, what I love about it is being able to wear a denim bag on those occasions when you're wearing color and you don't want to wear black because I do think black can be a very harsh neutral to wear with color. And so why not wear denim? Why not wear denim? And somebody's gonna say, wait a minute, Shy, because you know, what what do you want the girls to do? We don't have denim shoes. Our bag and our shoes have to match. I hear you. So in that occasion, what I would do is I would either wear white shoes. I have a pair of white Versace pumps that I could wear with this, or or I would wear a pair of silver shoes or gold shoes, right? I would go with a metallic. So for this look, I am wearing a brand new sweater. This one is by J. Crew. It's in this chartreuse color. Y'all know I don't do color a whole lot, but when I do, I'm kind of like in the green, chartreuse, orange categories, okay? Uh, I am true to what I love. <laughs> I don't vary a lot from those kind of three colorways. But anyway, um, I am wearing this chartreuse sweater that I got from J. Crew for Black Friday. It has a beautiful gold zipper, like this high collar, and I thought that the gold on the zipper and the gold on this handbag looked really good together. Again, I'm wearing the denim that I'm wearing today, which are the MM6 Margiela side side slit jeans. Say that three times. Um, and I am also wearing my gold boots once again. These are by Dries Van Noten. And so, Kind of same aesthetic on the bottom. I pop the different color up top. I just think, you know, black maybe could do a little something here, but it really is the denim that's fun, that's edgy, that gives this look like an air of whimsy. Like I'm not too serious, but just know I eat the girls. Just know. Okay, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't like don't play with it because I'm still bring that heat. I am, and that is what this bag does. Now, MCM didn't steer us wrong because we still have a good old crossbody strap once again. But 
for me, top handle is the way to go. And the thing about this bag that I love too is that the top handle comes off. And so if you don't want that kind of look of this hanging while you have the crossbody strap on, you can always remove this. I don't mind that. And so I like the way it looks with both. But it has feet on the bottom. I gotta take that plastic off. Um, it has feet on the bottom. And I think that um, although it is a smaller bag, it still is gonna fit all of your essentials. Many thanks to MCM for sponsoring that portion of the video. Again, all of these bags, y'all, they are on sale. They are on sale. And I think it is a great time to treat yourself or someone you love with some MCM goodies. They also have men I men's items on the sales section on the website. I think it's a great time to share with you all some of my journaling, planning, and productivity for the end of this year and the start of 2024. Uh, one of our tribe members asked for this in the first episode of Vlogmas when I asked you all what you would want to see. And for me, this is probably my favorite type of content to create that I don't create enough. And so let's get locked and loaded, girl. Grab you some tea, a beverage, uh, a glass of wine whatever your libation of choice is. And let's just do some journaling and like wellness planning together. I'm gonna tell you what I use, what I'm looking forward to using, and the brands that I love the most. Let's get into it, y'all. All right, y'all. I feel like a sexy librarian. Hey, Miss Parker. That's, that's what this is giving. Um. I don't want to be this person, okay? Uh, because this, I'm fully aware is excessive and I don't need for you to say anything. Let me be great, please I beg. I beg, I beg, because each one is necessary in its own way. Let's start with journaling. Are you excited? I'm such a nerd and I'm so happy I found my people. We see each other. For journaling purposes, y'all, I typically go between two. Let's start with the one that I use for free writing. This is, as I've shared with you all before, a Goyard Agenda cover. It is A5 size and inside fits any type of notebook or disc bound system you might want to use. For me, this is just a notebook that I got from a local stationery shop. And I use this for things like therapy, notes, I also have my 10 point wellness plan that I shared with you all in there. I do a lot of free writing in it. Obviously I won't zoom in because all of these things are just personal. Um, sometimes I do a gratitude list in here. Um, but what I love about it, y'all, believe it or not, is the paper. The paper of this notebook is absolutely divine. I wish I knew the brand. I just got it from a little stationery shop back home in downtown Lakeland. I am from Polk County, Florida. Oh, wait, let me take it out because I want to be able to tell y'all. I also should probably plan to replace this because it's almost time for another one. Okay, the company is called One Canoe Two onecanoe2.com so i'll link them down below because if you are a paper snob like me you're gonna love this just the weight of it is so thick and i think the dots on it and they're very light make it really easy to write on i do not like line notebooks at all because i feel like too restricted y'all know i'm not somebody that can stay between lines okay i like to be free give me free and so having something that's dotted is dope because it keeps your handwriting straight However, um, it's not, you're not restricted between lines, I believe, okay? Now, I'm gonna stop here because this is my second time filming this in all honesty because I go on and on in a way that is just really, it, it, it's unnecessary, okay? If, if you want me to dig a little deeper, I will, but I'm not gonna do this to y'all today because some of y'all are just here for vlogmas and to have a good time. You do not wanna hear my dissertation on stationery. So that is the first one. The second one is one that I created. I'm very proud of this. I mean, I didn't make it, but I put all of the elements together. It is a cover that I got from Cloth and Paper. They also have something similar on Amazon. When you open it up, I took basically wellness spreads that I was getting from different places, either my Cloth and Paper Monthly or from Infinite Lotus, which is the only two places that all of my agenda and journaling supplies come from, if they're these types of like free pages. Um, and 
I put them all in one wellness journal. And so the front is just a piece of vellum that says wellness that came from cloth and paper. And the second one is kind of layered is a cloth and paper purpose dashboard. And this has three sections. These are tabs that I got from cloth and paper that I wrote on daily journal, weekly journal and daily wellness. Okay. In the daily journal section, I have what I really like is this page that comes from Infinite Lotus. It just says today it has three bullet points. It can be for like three big to do items, which I love because it forces you to narrow your to do list. Uh, under wellness, you have exercise, water, sleep, mood, and then you have three thoughts. This insert for me is great for people who feel like, well, I don't have a lot of appointments. My day-to-day -day job and schedule is pretty standard. Like, what can I use an agenda for? This actually, for me, could come out of my wellness planner and go straight into my regular agenda, which I will show you all in just a bit. Especially this time of year, where most of what I'm doing right now is creating content. A lot of my consulting is with nonprofits, and they slow down because it's the end of the year. And then for weekly, I like this a lot because I'm going to start journaling my food. And so I don't always use this spread, but I think it's going to be good for me right now. And it has uh, four columns and it goes Monday through Sunday. Also from Infinite Lotus. And the sections we have are meal plan, health and fitness, beauty and self-care and gratitude. What did I learn? What can I improve? Inspiration and habits. And so what makes this a little difficult for me and, and kind of my mindset is that I don't do a good job looking at monthlies or weeklies. I'm much more a day-to-day -day person. And so um, reminding myself to look at this is a little hard. But having a, an explicit purpose for it, like food journaling, will help. And the last section is a very quick gratitude list. Talking about a brain dump, just quickly get things done. I like to bring this when I travel because it ensures that there's some part of my self-care practice that is happening. And it's also not too thick. It's pretty light. Um, and it fits, obviously, in kind of a tote bag pretty easy. And I never like to leave my house without something to write on, to write with, to write about. To, I just, that's how my brain works. I am someone who has to have a piece of paper in front of me and a good pen at all times. So again, those are my two wellness journals. I will replace the one that's inside of here, inside of the Goyard cover uh, pretty soon. It's about two thirds done. And I still have quite a few spreads in this one. And so I think I'm good with that for 2024, but we'll see. I will update you all if you would like to let me know down below. The last wellness one I just got. Here's the thing y'all, what had happened was, so you remember I told you I, was, I wasn't buying notebooks? And then I had bought the LV notebook. I did that. And then I bought another one the other day. And while the LV one was completely superfluous, this one you're going to tell me I need. And the reason I know you're going to tell me that is because I'm going to tell you you need it, girl. It is called the Best Year Journal. I got this from Paper Source. It's by a brand called Intelligent Change. And y'all did your big one with this one. You really did. It is probably one of the best awareness building, self-reflection tools that I have seen in a very, very long time, y'all. It has uh, six parts. You have part one, reflection and gratitude, and that is about this year, and it has prompts in it in each of these sections. Part two, knowledge gained. Part three, vision and clarity. Part four, your personal action plan. Part five, weekly review, and that's for the upcoming year. And part six, monthly review. And it has a note section in between. So just let me show you what the weekly section looks like. Let me get it to focus, hold on. Ooh. So here's the weekly section. And it asks you what the date is, obviously. Highlight of the week, most memorable moments of the week, this week I was grateful for, top personal life lessons of the week, top career or business lessons of the week, what progress have you made on your set of goals for this week. 
So there's a lot of goal planning prompts in here. And if you're someone who kind of struggles with the idea of free writing, I think the journals with prompts like this are great. And this is a good one. It even has a planning section for the year. And this paper, honey, this paper is kind of like vintage-y. It has examples. I, I, I just don't even know and it also has really, really good quotes that kind of guide you in each section. So I'm about 30 pages in, y'all. I'm taking my time with this. I am drawing myself a bath. I am pouring me a glass of butter chardonnay. Okay, I'm lighting some incense or a candle. And I'm just getting to it. I'm doing the work. And so my favorite quote that I read this week was by Toni Morrison, and it says, if you want to fly, you have to give up the things that weigh you down. I think that's from Sula or another one of her, her novels. It's great. Give this to someone for the holiday season. I think that it goes beyond gender. It goes beyond age. I'm about to order 10 of these from the Paper Source uh, website and just give them out to people. Um, because I think even if you've had a rough year or you're in a rough season, what this forces you to realize is that there is a blessing that may be unseen, even in the difficult times. It really challenge you, challenges you to reframe your challenges to think about um, the blessings that are always in our midst and also to plan for just more love, more life, more please. You just say to God, more please, more of that. And I think that you're able to make those things concrete. Write the vision, make it plain. That's what you do with this one. Highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. My phone is just a beeping. This doesn't happen until I get ready to film. Let me go turn this off, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all, I am back. And let's talk about what is inside of my A5 agenda. This one is, I think, what uh, Louis Vuitton calls the MM size. I've had to work on thinning this out, y'all, because it can get very bulky and that starts to like put stress on the rings and just issues that I don't want, okay? I have not gotten this heat stamped. I don't know if I will, but I'll show you what the inside of it looks. Some people call this like your dashboard or your inbox. I like the look of layering, and so you'll see that a lot in my dashboard. Um, here are just some journaling cards that I've layered from cloth and paper, and behind it are a set of stickers. I found another brand that I like at Chicago Planner Con. They're called Goldmine Paper Co. And so those stickers are from them. I don't use stickers and things a lot, but when I do, I like to have them handy. Also from Goldmine is this Adapt sheet. It's a piece of um, just plastic that you can punch holes in if you want and insert it inside of your agenda. What I've done though is just put three sticky tabs on it that I believe came from cloth and paper. And then I put this in one of the little pockets. And it makes it easy for me to pull from for the week. On the next side is a gold mine and paper co card as well as a paper clip which came from a vendor I think at Chicago Planner Conference and then we have a dashboard by cloth and paper and what it says is your goals may shift but your determination remains constant. It kind of has a color scheme right now. I have blues and grays, whites, everything for the most part stays neutral. I'm not very holly hobby. I'm not doing you know, a bunch of stickers. The most I might do is a layer to make things kind of pop out, but I don't want to spend too much. Girl, I want y'all to see the way that Pooks is inside this cage right now. Hold on, you've got to see this. I'm sorry, did you work late last night? Did you work the midnight shift? Sleeping like her life is so hard. Like, I have her, like, outside, I don't know, with, like, putting together bales of hay. What do people do on farms? Milking cows or something. Like, what are you... The level of exhaustion. <laughs> Whew. You just want to live the life that your pets live. All right. Keep it moving. I told you all I have thinned this out recently, so I only have four sections here. I won't go over them in detail. Just know right now I am using this weekly spread by 
cloth and paper because again I don't have a lot of appointments during the week and I also have a new weekly plan that I just got from Infinite Lotus that is part of my 2024 kind of haul that I will share with you all in detail at another time but I also have daily plan spreads and starting next year what I'm going to do is actually use this two page spread by Infinite Lotus that is the week on two pages and then when I have more going on I will use the daily plan spread. I have well-being here that I like to keep which is a weekly review because I do tend to sit down and look forward to the week in this planner and so having a weekly review spread is very helpful. Also some thought reframing daily gratitude this spread is from cloth and paper the previous one was from infinite lotus but i do keep some wellness inserts inside of my agenda just because you know i think it's important everything doesn't have to fit into one specific agenda and it makes sense in my mind to keep things that are more kind of overview specific in this journal as well and then my last section that i have here is a little bit of goal planning and finally a notes section which um, I have this Cornell notes section here and that is the that there is one little folder that I think I got from Amazon that I keep some additional stickers in and in the back is a picture from many many moons ago it's a picture of me at the Colony Palms Hotel in Palm Springs so just a reminder that I want my life to be vacation and the Starbucks card that somebody gave me that is pretty simple um, it has ebb, ebbed and flowed over the years but again I do want to like do a whole plan with me for 2024 so I'll get deeper into that during that sit down video which will probably come at the beginning of the year but one of the things that I've struggled with y'all um, it's very, figuring out where to put content because I've tried to keep it in this agenda and I just feel like I never have enough space. And so here's what I did. Cloth and paper, black owned business, shout out to Ashley, which I've talked about much throughout this video. Uh, in their November subscription box, which everybody loves, they have a yearly planner. And so I decided to use, since I already have my own system, theirs for content specifically and so i got this cover from them years ago when i first found out about them and it is heat stamped it has my initials there this is a picture from when i was in jamaica two years ago and i just have a few other cards this was actually the hotel key at the chicago planner conference they created it and so i just love that font and that's what's in these three pockets there this planner y'all has the month and the weekly spreads that I think are going to be perfect for content creation. I am trying to produce more YouTube videos and that might mean I fall back on some social media areas, but whatever it means, I need to make a plan for it. And so it's very, a very straightforward spread. And it's nice when you don't have to do any work. It's already dated. You just jump right in and you know what you're using it for. Typically, I'll be honest, I haven't always liked the idea of having multiple agendas or multiple planners, but I'm at the point in my business where I just can't get, I can't get around it. Like I just need another place to have things written down. I think it's more than enough space for what I need. Will it be a lot to leave my house with both of these? And if I'm traveling, all three of these, absolutely. And so what probably will go with me in those situations are just these two. And if I don't have space, just this one. And that's how I will pare things down. I'm anticipating the social media calendar to be just on my desk. This is something that stays at the house. I'm tired. Uh, again, this is my second time filming that because it was way too long the first time. Uh, but let me know down below if you have any questions. I am happy to answer them. Um, right now, we're going to get a little bit of work done. I won't kind of have you in the background for that. It's nothing exciting. But what we will do together, y'all, is go to an event tonight where I'm going to make my own lipstick. 
It is a spot called the Lip Lab. I have never been before, but I love this idea that like you or you and your friends can get together and go to this shop and curate your own lip color. So it sounds like a really good time and I'm so excited that I was invited. So we will go do that together. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, I have y'all like propped up on an espresso box because I wanted to my OOTD really quickly before I leave. I have on that gauge cardigan that you saw earlier today. Got those Bottega Do earrings on as well as these bangles. These came from Shopbop. And on my feet are the Sam Edelman's. These are the silver metallic mules, which I showed you all so long ago. Um, I'm probably going to put on maybe... Uh, my white coat I'm thinking because I think it'll look really good with the metallics but I'll show you all before I leave and the next time I talk to you we will be at the event. So I made it to the lip lab. It is so cute in here. It's an actual lab. Let me show you what it looks like. I just rub this. Yeah, so you can put it on the wall, and then I typically go with my finger and do a small circular motion to exfoliate. Okay. Because you're getting some physical exfoliation plus some enzymatic ones with the papaya enzymes. So I have scrubbed my lips with the sugar scrub, and then I've set it or like faced it with this agave balm that feels amazing. Now we're gonna get into actually making the colors. So we're gonna try to make this one a little bit more red, but y'all, I'm obsessed. And the irony is I was just looking for like this type of shade yesterday. I said, wait a minute, I'm about to go make custom colors. I can actually make my own. So this is what we came up with. And I think for my second color, I'm gonna do a gloss, but like a dark girl friendly nude shade of gloss so stay tuned but we're gonna try one more iteration of this to see which one we like better i wish i could tell me in real time but yeah just leave a comment down below this is it this is it this has to be it it's so good Okay, she calls it red velvet. <laughs> Let's see what we got, y'all. I said, I don't want to have to wear a gloss all the, I mean, a liner all the time. I just want a gloss that's going to stand up on its own and that won't make me look like Casper. So I feel like we're on to something. Let's see. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. <laughs> Just like, I'm here, I'm fresh faced. Just, you know. uh, I think like maybe a little bit more, um, I don't know if it would be brown, but just a little more of a color pigment. Okay. The more I see this, it kind of like settles and the more I love it. I'm gonna have to pick what the lipstick is gonna come in. All the glosses come in these tubes. I named my glosses, uh, one is called Miss Loreen after my mom's best friend because she used to wear a color called Rum Raisin and that shade reminds me of that. 
and the other is called Thought Life because it's just like a, a real sexy nude my toenail season and now let's figure out what color the lipstick is gonna be I think so I like this the silver but I think I like this yeah it's gonna be this now the question is what font is it gonna be here are all of the fonts that we can choose from Let me think about it. So I am gonna stay here and get my lipsticks customized and all wrapped up. But this is the end of this episode of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more and I will see you good people in the next episode. Peace.